Hey, my beautiful Pisces gang, what's happening, what's crackalacking, and what's poppin', baby? It's your boy, Afro Cancer Moon's Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your mid-May, 15th through the 31st, mid-month tarot reading. I hope you guys are well, and if so, let me know down in the comments down below. As always, these readings are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message, and if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you're more than welcome to. All that information is going to be linked down in the description box down below. So with that all being said, my fellow Pisces, let's see what we got going on for the fish good morning baby hope you guys are having a good start to your day messages for team pisces here sun moon rising venus throughout mid-may 15th through the 31st what do we got coming in here for team pisces pisces sun moon rising venus throughout mid-may 15th through the 31st what do we got going on messages for the pisces here sun moon rising venus throughout mid-may 15th through the 31st. All right, Pisces, let's go ahead and get ourselves this one last shuffle. And we'll take a look here and see what we got going on, baby. Hopefully, we got ourselves some pretty fantastic stuff. Pisces, overall energy for you guys here is showing up as the Knight of Cups. You can be connecting possibly here with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Some sort of suitor, some sort of interest here. Someone's taken romantic interest in you, Pisces, and I do feel that you've taken romantic interest in them as well. Taking a look at your current energy, Knight of Wands, you want to move towards this person. Person you're dealing with, though, Two of Swords, outcome that's present, King of Cups. So here's the thing. Someone here made advances towards you. You make advances towards them. And then they get confused. Why are they confused? Two of Swords. Person here can't make a decision yet about what it is that they want, but I kind of feel like they were the ones to reach out to you first. Let's clarify that Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords showing up for the person that Pisces is dealing with, please? Why do we got the Two of Swords showing up for the person that Pisces is dealing with? And what do we got? We got here the World card. Interesting. Can be a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or a Leo. So I think that right now with this world card here, they're kind of thinking about their life. They're thinking about the direction it's going in, right? Maybe your person's thinking about their career, thinking about, you know, their world in general and how a relationship seems to fit into it. So I think what makes this person nervous is they're wondering, am I ready for a relationship in my life? I got this going on. I got my career going on. I got my friends. I got this. I got that. So they're looking at their life in the aspect of, I have all this stuff going on. Can I do a relationship? Or can I not do a relationship? I think that that's what they're kind of confused on. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups, though. Who pursued who first? Was it Pisces or was it this person? And we got here the Six of Pentacles. I kind of feel like it was mutual. You know, you and this person kind of easily clicked, easily connected. So it was pretty much a mutual pursuit. I think the two of you were like, yeah, there's a vibe here. Let's explore it. Okay. So Pisces, you met somebody, somebody met you. It seemed like the two of you hit it off together. I think the both of you pursued each other. It was very mutual, but now your person here is kind of standoffish. You know, they backed off a little bit because they think they're kind of considering, I don't know if I could fit a relationship right now in my life. Now, excuse me, as for you, you're showing up as the Knight of Wands. You're like, well, I'm ready to pursue this. I'm ready to see where this can go. And with the outcome that's present, we do have here the King of Cups. There's clearly lots of romance steaming up between you and this person. So I guess the answer that you're looking for is where is this connection going to go? Is this person going to step up to the plate? What's going to happen? So what I'm going to do here, Pisces, is I'm going to go over your person. I'll take a look and see how they feel towards you and what's going on with them throughout May. Then I'm going to take a look and see how you feel towards them, what's going on with you throughout the second half of May. We'll see where energies align and then we'll see the outcome, okay? Now, how does the person that Pisces is dealing with feel towards Pisces? And what is going on with this individual throughout mid-May 2021? How does the person that Pisces is dealing with feel towards Pisces? And what is going on with this individual throughout mid-May 2021? First card out, we got here a King of Swords, Determination. But is it a determination towards you or a determination towards other things in their life? So we got here King of Swords, we got here Six of Cups, all right? We got here the Page of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and then we got here the Six of Wands. So a couple of things I'm noticing with your person right off the bat. King of Swords, Six of Cups. When we look at this person's energy, I feel like the King of Swords and the Six of Cups is like, sure, maybe in the past they were determined to have a relationship, 
But looking at how things are going right now in their life, their own personal life, it seems to be that they're going quite well. Everything's stable. Stable money, stable job, they're having good cash flow, right? They're having fun, they're going out. Like the individual that you're dealing with is pretty content being single right now. Things are going really well for them in their life. They feel like they're doing really good for themselves. Six of Wands, they feel super successful here. So when it comes towards their feelings, they feel that everything's going well in their life. But they also do notice that they have this connection to you and they do note and acknowledge that it is a pretty strong one. We have here Emperor, we have here Queen, uh, Queen of Cups. The feelings that this person bears for you, Pisces, are very strong. So things are going well in their life right now, but at the same time, they you know could have an even better one if they had it with you. I think your person here is thinking to themselves, well, a relationship can make or break the flow that I'm in right now. You know, it's like either the relationship can make everything better for me and the life that I'm living or it can make it more hard for me to experience. Maybe it's a relationship that won't work out well. So your person here is kind of teeter tottering around the idea of this relationship could be positive for me and the life that I'm living now or it could be downhill. So that's what's kind of getting this person caught up in regards to what's going on with them throughout mid-May 2021. What's going on with the person Pisces is dealing with throughout mid-May 2021. And what do we have? We have here the devil. They're definitely infatuated. We have here the star card. And then lastly, we have here the seven of swords. So based on what's going on with them, it's kind of like they're dealing with the devil and the angel on their shoulder. Okay, we got the devil on this shoulder over here saying, eh, you're good where you're at. Don't do it. You know, why possibly invite in something that could be destructive? It could be positive, but it also could be really negative, right? They're like, this relationship could be good or it could fuck everything up. And then the angel on their shoulder saying, hey, Believe in faith, believe in divine timing. There's a reason you met this Pisces. There's a reason you like this Pisces. So why don't you go ahead and give it a shot? They're literally caught between the devil and the angel on their shoulders. So they're experiencing a lot of self-deception right now. And that is what's confusing them to be able to think clearly and really give this relationship a shot. So overall, pretty basic stuff. You know, your person's like, my life's going well. Is this worth it, you know? They're gonna have to make that choice. They like you, you like them. The two of you mutually care for each other. I mean, three of cups, they have a lot of fun with you. They just gotta be willing to take a risk, a leap of faith, okay? Let's take a look at Pisces over here. How is Pisces feeling towards the person they're dealing with and what is going on with Pisces throughout mid-May, 2021? How does Pisces feel towards the person they're dealing with and what is going on with Pisces throughout mid-May, 2021? First card out, we got here the Queen of Swords. I definitely feel like Pisces, you're not having much time to fuck around, okay? That was pretty bold. The Queen of Swords is like, I don't got time to fuck around, okay? Um, I'm in a place in time right now where I want you to be straight up with me. I want people to not fucking hide things from me because I think that in your past, you've dealt with a lot of connections where people hid shit from you and weren't being honest with you. And Pisces really don't like dishonesty. So you want this person to be honest. Um, I don't think they've shown you any deception or any dishonesty at all. I just think that you know they're holding something back and you're like, I want you to spit it out. King of Wands, okay? So looking at your feelings right now, you want this person to take action. And that action being, you'll be with me or you won't be with me. At least let me friggin' know. I don't wanna be stuck in limbo over here, all right? Looking uh, forward, we have here the Two of Cups. Pisces, you do want a relationship with this person, you know? Two of Cups, Page of Cups, for sure. You do want a relationship and you do want to see where this could go. You will give this person your time of day and you can actually see a future with the individual you're connecting with. So as far as you are looking, Pisces, you're on board with this person, you're on board with this connection. The one thing is, is that you just don't want your time to be wasted. You want this person to be honest with you. You want them to tell you if they want this or don't want this. You don't really feel like being caught up in the middle and waiting and being stuck in some sort of stagnancy, okay? Let's pull two more cards for Pisces feelings. Let's get two more cards for Pisces feelings. And we got here the nine of pentacles. And then we got here the two of pentacles. I honestly think you're saying Pisces, I'll be okay if I'm single and I'll be happy too if I'm involved. You know, if I'm single, cool. If I'm involved with you, cool. Like I just wanna know where this thing is going. All right, based on what's going on with you Pisces throughout mid-May 2021, let's have a look. What's going on with Pisces, please? Throughout mid-May 2021, let's have a look. First card out, we got here Queen of Wands. Next card out, we got here Ace of Wands. And then the last card we got is the Ace of Pentacles. So Pisces, I think you're gonna get real blunt with your person here. Whoever this individual is that you have a mutual connection to, you're gonna get pretty blunt with them. Queen of Wands, 
That's you stepping into your power and Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You're gonna say, hey, look, I like you. I wanna be with you. I think this could be a really cool connection. Do you wanna be with me? Do you wanna make this work? Do you wanna have this? So Pisces, you're gonna break the ice essentially because the person you're dealing with over here, they're not doing anything. They're taking no action. You know, two of swords is I'm stuck. I'm indecisive. I don't know what to do. You know, everything's going smooth right now in my life. I don't know if I want a relationship. Remember your person's battling with the devil and the angel on their shoulder. As for you, Pisces, you're like, I know I like this, but I just want an answer. If they don't want to be with me, cool. I'll move on. I'll get over it. I'll meet somebody else. But if they want to give this a shot, I'm down for it. So you're going to be the icebreaker here. You're going to tell this person, look, I like you. And I would actually like to have a future with you. Where are we going to go? And how do you feel? What's going to happen? So you're going to break the ice to this person and they're going to have to give you an answer. In regards to where energies are aligning between Pisces and the person they're dealing with throughout mid-May 2021, what do we got? We got here the queen, or not the queen, we got here the high priestess, we got here the eight of wands, and then we got here the king of pentacles. And let's get one more card. We got the seven of cups. So High Priestess, the card of Pisces, and then Eight of Wands. So we have Pisces here reaching out, okay? In a very cool, calm, and collected manner. So like I said, Pisces, you're gonna be the icebreaker. You're gonna reach out to this person, okay? But I think that by you reaching out, the response you're gonna get is still gonna be confusion. It's still gonna be confusion from your person here. Like, I don't know, I'm sorry. I really don't know what I want. I really don't know if this could work. Maybe you should seek out other options. Maybe I'm not the one for you. You know, it looks to me, Pisces, like they're throwing away a really good opportunity here, especially with the fucking Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. It's like, it's a mutual connection at first sight. So they're still going to play the role of being confused. And looking at the bottom of the deck, we got the tower, you know, it might be this person's greatest mistake, not taking a chance on this. Uh, what's going to be the overall outcome between Pisces and this person throughout mid-May 2021? What'll be the overall outcome? We have here the Eight of Pentacles and we have here the Ten of Cups. Either way, Pisces, you're going to get your victory. You're going to be able to work towards establishing a beautiful relationship. But I don't know if this relationship is with this person. Clarify. Is the relationship with this person or is the relationship going to be with another individual for Pisces? We got here Page of Pentacles. And we got here the Fool card. They will step up to the plate. Good. I'm happy to hear that. For a second, Pisces, I thought your person here was going to throw this away. I see them stepping up to the plate. What's going to make this person step up to the plate? What's going to make them say, you know what, Pisces? I'm going to take a risk and be with you. What is it that pushes this person to get there? We have here the Temperance. And we have here the Three of Swords. And we have here the Eight of Swords. After doing some heavy thinking, I think they're going to realize, Pisces, that I don't know if I want to miss out on this opportunity. I think they're realizing, like, if I miss out on this opportunity to be with Pisces, that's really gonna fucking suck. That's really gonna be heartbreaking because this really is a cool connection with a really cool person. Like they're acknowledging how cool you are, how awesome you are, how great your fucking energy is and how awesome the two of you vibe. So what's gonna push this person to say, you know what, Pisces, let's be together is actually the fear of losing you. Because when you get really blunt and really direct with this person, it's gonna push them to realize Pisces is not gonna be waiting. And there is a potential that I can lose Pisces. So once they realize that you're not going to be waiting Pisces and you assert yourself and you're like, hey, like, it's cool for single. It's cool for together. You know, once you kind of throw that out there, they're like, OK, well, I don't really think I want to miss out on this. So I'm going to give it a shot. So actually, Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups is going to be for the two of you. You will work towards a very stable and a very fulfilling connection. I think your person's going to open up here. Like I said, the main reason why they were standoffish and was holding back is because it's like they were dealing with the devil and the angel on their shoulder. They're like, okay, my life's going great right now. My life's doing good. But if I invite in a relationship, there's a potential that that relationship can be destructive. But then on the other side of their shoulder, they were like, well, who knows? I met this person. We, you know, hit it off really well. Me and Pisces click super well. Why wouldn't I give this a shot? Because you know what? Connections that you really vibe with people don't come by every single day. So I might as well give it a shot and see where it goes. So Pisces, I think in the end, it's a happy ending. I think your person here is going to give you a shot. And I know that you're giving them a shot here as well. Um, I see them no longer being afraid. 
I think they're going to open themselves up over here, especially with that full card. They're going to take a risk on this. And I think that it's moving in a good direction. You know, your outcome here was eight of pentacles and 10 of cups. You're going to work on this to the point where it becomes a very emotionally fulfilling relationship. So this will be a very wholesome and fulfilling relationship at the end of it all uh, between you and this person. Okay. I like it, man. Really awesome message for you guys. Happy to see the person pull through in the end. Like I said, Pisces, when I saw that tower card, I was like, are they really going to miss out on this? Are they really going to jeopardize their chance to be with the Pisces? Okay. I've been with Pisceans like all my life when it comes towards romance and relationships. And I know how valuable, how valuable you guys are, how awesome you guys are, and just how great that relationship is being with an awesome water sign such as a Pisces. So I didn't want this person to miss out. Okay. I know how awesome it is. All right, man. Pisces, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it so much. Happy to see a happy ending here for y'all. Uh, thank you for coming through. If it resonates, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, take care, guys, and have a good one. I will catch you all in June 2021. If you guys are new here, definitely do consider subscribing. Take care, everybody, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.